Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. We have so many good things to talk about today. So make sure you stay until the end because every single thing I have to show you is really, really good. And I also had some epiphanies kind of along the way and some different things that I wanted to tell you. So let's start off with Amazon purchases. I got these for the first time. If you are new here, I am carnivore. I eat only meat and dairy. And something that I do just to stay on track and just for my own personal benefit, I use ketone strips just to see how far into ketosis I am each day. It just kind of guides me on what I'm eating. And so I got these which are longer and supposed to be a little bit more detailed. Now I have a lot of exciting things coming up with Carnivore, including an interview I'm doing tomorrow. So I will post that as soon as possible. Another thing is I ordered some more of these pens that I was telling you about. These are Andrew Huberman's favorite pens. Just dreamy, dreamy. They will make you want to journal. They will make you want to just write just like you were in high school and you had a brand new pen and a brand new five subject mead notebook. Remember that feeling? That's how this does. It, these pens are fabulous. I like them even more than my Sharpie fine points. I think that's it for Amazon. So let's go on to Ulta. I repurchased my Hourglass Ambient Foundation. The shade that I love is shade eight. It's what I'm wearing today. It's what I wore last summer. Now I will say when I got more fair and lighter and it got to be fall and winter, I was not able to wear this and I was not able to really find a shade that I loved. But I was so excited when I got a little bit of a tan and was able to get this back out. I actually finished one bottle. I had already purchased another that I forgot about and put upstairs and then this is going to be my backup. But I love it and I, I keep saying this but I feel this strongly about it. I am going to do a video on my favorite foundations that I have right now because I have so many that I really love that give medium to full coverage that last all day and are just really really yummy and just give you that look that I love. So that video will be coming up soon. My favorite foundations. Something else I picked up up at Ulta is a refill of my favorite liquid liners. I go through loving this one and that one. I really love the Valentino because it has the pencil on the end. I mean, I love a lot of liners, but these are the ones that I go through time after time. I have them on today. I love to do my wing with the brown one and then go over my lash line and I do a little baby wing with the black one so that I have a place to set my lashes down and it just works perfectly. And I think it gives me the look that I want but in a little bit of a more subdued, nicer way. And I actually really like the dimension of having the brown and then the black. So I love it. I mean, I like both of these on their own. If I were to use just brown, I would probably not use false lashes. If I were to just use black, it would just give me a stronger look. Another thing I picked up at Ulta, and this is a little bit of a dud, but I still wanted to talk to you about it. It is the Wow Root Cover Up Hair Powder. Now I have been using this for years now, and I love it. This is one of the most remarkable, truly transforming products that you can use. And I was listening to a makeup artist one day that works on, she's in LA and she works with a lot of sets and movies and all of that kind of stuff. And she said, I guarantee you, no one is on the screen without this root cover up to either cover roots or to fill in the hairline. I was watching, and you guys have probably seen it, the new J movie. I think it was The Mother. It was pretty good. I admire her for a lot of reasons. Her look is not what I gravitate towards in a lot of ways, but I think that she is a very multi-dimensional person and I love that. And I just, I admire her for a lot of different things. But I noticed that her hairline looked really different in that movie. It really jumped out at me. And then when I saw her do a YouTube video with one of her products, I noticed that she really had her hairline filled in. It's a very, very big difference. And she is not the only one. Well, the one that I 
I have and I still love to this day is the dark blonde, but sometimes it's too dark if I just had my roots done. So I grabbed the, I think it's just regular blonde. So I tried it today and it's just too light. It doesn't really do anything. I mean, it did, I think, cover a little bit of grays that might've popped out since I had my hair done, but I prefer the dark blonde. But you guys, I'm serious. This is a product that you probably never knew you needed, but when you start using it, it is amazing. Okay. Okay, so continuing on with Ulta, when I showed you the PR package that I got from Kristen S., I had such a good response. I was so intrigued and so many of you mentioned the Kristen S. The One Purple Shampoo and Conditioner. So when I was in Ulta, I picked it up and I have to say, I am so impressed. Kristen, I think I would get along with her. I think that she has a great concept. First of all, when you read, like even the back, it's like her voice and like she has created these products from things that she was missing. And I will say, this is some ultraviolet ultraviolet, very pigmented purple shampoo and conditioner. One thing that was impressive is it didn't go all over my shower. It was not, you know, and I did use it last night. I typically don't use shampoos and conditioners like this. I do use the Redken one that just brightens blondes. I don't usually use a toning one because I like a warmer tone, but I wanted to try it just so I could report back. And because I liked it so much, I'm going to keep it. Brooke likes purple shampoos and stuff too. My daughter that has bleached hair like mine. So I would say if you are in the market for a purple shampoo and conditioner, that's a good one to try. I've also really enjoyed this working serum. This is very, very similar to the Colleen Rothschild serum. It's a thinner oil, much thinner than the Kerastase or the Lanza, but it's not like the Olaplex one or some of those that are just so slicky, even the Orbe, it's kind of in between those two. And I use about four or five pumps on my ends when I take it out of the towel. And then sometimes I'll even use a pump and put it in the next day, but I really like it. It has an odd fragrance, but for some reason I like it. It's one of those things, like you're either gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. And that's another thing. I have a lot of people ask me, you know, why I'm showing other shampoos and conditioners when I love the Colleen Rothschild. Well, for one thing, I have lots of people here and I want to show many different things in case you don't like the scent of the Colleen Rothschild. Maybe you don't like the price. Maybe it's out of stock. That's the reason. I really try to show you more than one option that I really like and is comparable. And I would say Kristen S. so far is doing really well. I want to try some more of her shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna to try to find one. They were really sold out that day. So I might just order and I'm gonna see which one I think would be the best for me. Usually I like one that says replenish and shine. And then another thing I just wanted to touch on is the Kristen S Weightless Shine Air Dry Cream for all hair types, frizz calming, shine restoring, softening and smoothing, time saving. Okay, I used this last night and in the footage that you will see with some of the clothes that I'm gonna show you. I know the free people and this outfit and I loved it. Last night I used a little bit more than I did the night before and I do love it. I still don't know. I would have to use it a few more times just to see if I like it more than what I've already shown you in my air dry routine video that I'll put up here. I'm thinking for me and the length of my hair and for what I'm after, I may prefer something that sprays on just because it's just a little bit easier to spread. But this, I will have to say, is pretty good. It's not crunchy at all. And I mean, I use like a quarter size amount. It does give you body, it gives you shine. And I really like all of her packaging too. Very user-friendly, classy, good job. Okay, now something fun. For those of you that love nail polishes like I do, this has always been one of my favorite things. My mom has a younger sister that is, she's 10 years older than I am. 
And so when I would go to my grandmother's, my aunt still lived there and she would spend so much time with us. She's actually the aunt that introduced me to John. One of my best memories is going in her room and just looking at everything because you know, I thought she was so cool. Even if I was, let's say eight years old and she was 18, which would have been right around the time I'm thinking, she had like dark navy blue and purple and all of these colors, nail polishes out on her dresser. And I just loved all the colors. We would paint my nails. I loved watching her get ready for dates. Her boyfriend, she ended up dating in college. She ended up marrying and he's my uncle to this day. And they would take us out on dates for pizza and stuff like that. It was just so much fun. We would make cakes for him before he came over and all that good stuff. So that's, I've always loved colored nail polish. Now I do go in and out as I do with everything. Today I have on this one and I love it. If you've been here, remember when I saw that lady, it was in the checkout line of Ulta and she had on a color like this. It was a Sally Hansen, it was called Mint something and it looked so good with her black sandals. I've always loved this type of color and these even had cool names. This one is um, Yacht Leaving. I put it on this morning and I will say at first, I didn't feel like it went on very smoothly, but then the second coat was great and I think it looks really pretty. I always use Sesh Vite. That is the only top coat I use because it dries so fast. Then I got this little sweet color. I thought it was very similar to the Chanel polish I have that's like this. And the name of this is Mexico City Movement. No secret how much I love lavender. It's one of those colors. Like if you're someone who's not used to wearing a funky color on your nails, something like this is your first baby step because it's still very, very pretty and soft. It's, you know, not going to be offensive at all or just out there. It gives you that personality. I think my mom would love this. And this is called Achievement Unlocked. And I really love it. I love how soft and pretty it is. Oh, I can't wait. So I'll be wearing all of these. And then this one I thought was really cool because it's sparkly. This one is called Bikini Boardroom. That's perfect. <laughs> and then this one I just thought might be a good light pink. This color looks really good on toes in the summertime. Again, with nude sandals or black flip-flops, there's just something about this light baby pink. And this one is called Let Nature Take Its Quartz. <laughs> So I love all of these. A lot of times I'll get nail polishes and then I'll bring them home and put them out and they look just like something I already have. Or I just, I'm like, why did I get that? These have kept me, you know, excited to use them. So I think you guys would like those. This is something that I use today with the next thing that I'm gonna show you and it's the Morphe Lip Liner in Makeup Talk. And it is a really good one. I don't wear it enough. I don't talk about it enough. It's what I'm wearing today. I think I just said, and it's just very, very similar to like my collaboration lip liner. I did paradise. It's very similar to Lancome ideal. It's just like a good mauve brownie type color and it goes on really smooth. It stays and it's not very expensive. So I think this is really, really worth trying. And then in PR this week, I got an oldie, but a goodie. If you have been around YouTube for at least, I would say 10 years, if not the very beginning, you will remember the Clarins Lip Perfector. I think this is one of their hero products. It's something that you'll see kind of like the YSL Touche Clot and Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This is a favorite of a lot of like actresses and famous people. It's just one of those basics. And this is their Taking Our Makeup Hero to a New Level, powered with ultra nourishing organic shea butter. This new two-in-one balm plumps lips with 3D shine while providing a boost of radiance to cheeks for a natural glow. Wow. Okay, I did not realize this was supposed to be for cheeks too. So I did not do that, but I did use the least like me color out of the bunch so that I could show you something different. And the colors they sent me are number 21, which is soft pink glow. And then they sent me number 23, which is pomegranate glow. 
And then number 25 is the Mulberry Glow. And that is what I have on. And I'll be honest with you, when I came out here and decided to put it on, I was a little like scared, but here's what you do. So you squeeze it until you see it come out like that. And then you, oh, it smells so good. It smells kind of like, I guess it's vanilla, something like gourmand and warm and yummy. And it feels creamy and moisturizing. It's not sticky. It's not, it does not feel plumping at all. It just feels like a nice, good feeling lip gloss. It is just, and I think this color is beautiful. I think, you know, it looks like it's going to be so scary and dark, but I felt like it was going to be a great nude. So I hope that you like that. And then I will be trying these. I have had these many, many times. I always love them and I was, thankful to get these in the mail. So thank you, Clarence. Okay, and speaking of PR, I got a fabulous package from BK Beauty, her lipstick line. She added some new shades. So yesterday, when I set out of here to go for my walk, the one I chose is no surprise, Self Love, and it is this beautiful pink color. Very smooth. This is kind of a blue pink. This is similar to your MAC Angel, things like that. I loved it. It felt so good. I love the shape of the bullet. And let's try Try another color that I know I would like. Let's try Kindness. This is another nude. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is my favorite, the Kindness. Let me take this lip off and then I will apply the Kindness and the Makeup Talk. Okay, so there is just the Makeup Talk liner. You can see how pretty it is. And now let's use the Kindness lipstick. Wow, Lisa, you did so good. I love this. That is beautiful, beautiful. I think that you guys would love these. So thank you to BK Beauty for sending those to me. I love them. I love the formula and I love this color. I think you need to get this one. Okay, it's bougie time. Look at this, Hermes. I forgot I ordered this. I ordered this from Bloomingdale's and I think it was either back ordered or something. And I just got it the other day and I was like, what is this? And it is Hermes. Healthy Glow Mineral Powder. And the shade I got is one. And when I opened it the first time, I thought, hmm, is this supposed to be a bronzer? Like what color did I order? So I've been using it with a big fluffy brush, kind of like a blush type brush. And I've been using it for my starter contour and just kind of dusting all over my face and it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. So soft, so easy to blend. And then I go back in with my Anastasia Rosewood, which really gives me that depth and contour. But this is just gorgeous. I'm just tickled with it. I love it. It's beautiful. I will say they're darker than they look, or this one is darker on than it looks. But if you like the like YSL all over glow powder or any of those that you kind of put over your foundation and it just starts your bronzer or gives you dimension, then you will love this. It is just beautiful. And it doesn't like dust up everywhere. It's just really, really nice. Are we tired of lip gloss yet? I don't think so. <laughs> oh gosh, lip gloss is going to be a big theme in this video actually. I was in Victoria's Secret. I went back. They had those G-string thong panties that I showed you last week. They had buy three, get five free or something like that. I went in there and they did not even have that many of my size, but I did get more of the shorts that I showed you that I walk in and just a few other things to walk. And I was up at the counter and I asked her what were the best selling shades of these lip glosses? Cause I remember, let me know down below if you've been here since the private beach days when I used to go nuts over their makeup. To me, there was nothing better than watching that daggone Victoria's Secret fashion show and then finding out what they used on the models in the runway and then going out and getting it. To me, that was just heaven. I loved it. Look at that goodness. This is Berry Flash. You guys, this sucker is gorgeous. It reminds me of a mauve I cannot remember the whole name, but it was a either Revlon or L'Oreal lipstick that I used to wear in my 20s and it was called mauve something. And it was this purpley mauve like this. Oh my God. 
gosh, it is so good. It is so good. Okay, this one is Candy Baby. This one is just like what you would think. It's just a light pink. I wore it yesterday with, I can't remember what lip liner now. Oh, I think it was Estee Lauder Rose lip liner. And I loved it, but I think it would look prettier on its own just for a nude light pink look. And then that one is Cherry Bomb. This is just one of those, gives you the childlike pigmented lips but it's got that jelly look to it where it's like bouncy and kind of clear. It's beautiful. So I think they said this was the number one seller and then she mentioned this one and then she mentioned that one. Of course, this one is my favorite. And next time I go in, I'm gonna see if they have any more colors in that shimmery texture like that because I love it. It's similar to like San Diego or something, but just a different color. Okay, now this, I've debated on whether I should show you these or not because I've already shown them to you. They're from Aritzia, the Tallulah Triangle Bra, and they come in like small, medium, large. I don't know how large they go. They're $25, and these are the ones that I saw on, oh my goodness, what is her name? Valeria, okay, I just had to look it up. So I saw her wearing these and remember I got the small ones. Well, it wasn't pretty. My boobs kept popping out. So I got the medium ones and the reason I'm showing you is because I went ahead and got these. Look at how beautiful that is. These lacy ones, look how small the straps are. So for a lot of you, if you have bigger, heavier boobs, this might not be like an all day, every day bra, but it's still good sometimes like just to wear for a little while because of the small straps. And then remember that fuchsia blouse that I showed you from Zara. And I told you I would love to have a bralette to wear under it. Look at this, how gorgeous that is. It is just beautiful. Little small straps. So if you were to wear this underneath a tank top or something, I did think that they gave you pretty good support, but you guys know I've had a lift and all of that good stuff, but I just really love these. They're really stretchy, simple, and I just wanted to show you and tell you that I got the medium instead of the small. Okay, so here we go with some fashion. I have some Lululemon some free people and an anthropology try on haul. I was planning on doing that separate, but I checked everything, it's still in stock and I don't wanna miss anything. So first of all, let's talk about walking. I have walked every day since I started. And I'm very proud of myself because I have walked in the rain three different days. It has not been sunny here. It has been very depressing and I have just had to suck it up. You know, the first day I set out of here and it started raining, I thought to myself, would this keep me from going shopping? Would this keep me from going to get something to eat? Would this keep me from doing anything? And really it wouldn't, I would have done it anyway. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna suck it up and I'm going to walk. So I've been doing that every day and I would love for you guys to join me and then we'll just kind of check in on Fridays. So I told you that I loved the little shorts from Victoria's Secret. I told you my thinking behind that. I love, love, love my sneakers. I love not having to wear socks. I just, I love them. I just so much. They're so good. But I did end up going to Lululemon because one of my friends named Carrie was telling me about a new color that they have there called lip gloss. How could I resist? It is the most beautiful color pink. So we're gonna talk about that. But first of all, I want to share with you the outfit that I have on. It's from Free People and it is amazing. Yesterday, I had to take Will to graduation practice early. So I was, you know, getting ready and I got to show you guys where Chanel is right now. I'll take a picture. Trust me, she is with us at all times, even if you don't see her. But anyway, when I put this on yesterday, I was so happy because nothing makes me happier than to have something I can share with you that I think so many of you are going to love. It's not that expensive. It comes in lots of different colors. And that is this outfit. I also want to tell you about someone who inspires me a lot. And her name is Caroline. I think it's Shop With Me Caroline. And I discovered her one day on YouTube doing her makeup and I immediately connected with her. She's 51. She feels like I do about everything. We have so much in common. She just, we have different styles. She is going to express it in 
in a little bit of a different way than I do, but I agree with everything that she says and I love her style. It's a little bit um, more than I would typically do, but that is the beauty of it, you guys. That is the beauty of having each other to be inspired by. That is the beauty of your midlife, your 40s and 50s. I think there is something especially different about your 50s. You just get a totally different feeling. You, for one thing, you get this camaraderie type feeling with other women in their 50s. I don't know, it's very, very energizing, and I find her energizing. I find her funny and I just connect with her so many ways. So a lot of these things are inspired by Caroline and she wears lots of jewelry, lots of jewelry and hers is just magnificent. I'm talking diamonds like this big. I today put on a little bit more of my Dean Davidson, my wedding ring, and then I added some more things. This is that rhinestone necklace. I know a lot of you got this from Heart, the company Heart some of my Jenny Bird, my ideal diamond necklace, and it's true to what she says. You can take an average loungy outfit, like what I've got on today, and really give it spice and style and make it your own and look a little bit more dressy, a little bit more trendy, a little bit more chic and with it. So I am just loving that. For some reason, I have gotten really into sweatshirts for the summer. It reminds me of when I was little, there was something special about wearing socks and sneakers in the summer. But this is when I was little, like in probably grade school, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, I had these socks that had the typical stripes, like, you know, like boys tube socks, but they were pastel colors, like yellow, pink, and lavender, and I think there was a mint, and there was something about wearing socks and shoes in the summer, because you never saw that. Like, everybody here wears flip-flops, sandals, especially in the heat of the summer, but it always looked so good, you know, with your tan, and just to look a little different. And that's kind of what the whole sweatshirt in the summer reminds me of. It's just, I don't know, I just feel like it looks good in the summer. So, You've seen my, I think I'm gonna show you another one. Do I have it here? Okay, I'm unable to locate it at this moment. I'm sure it's probably upstairs, but I wanted to just get back to this. But you know that sweatshirt, the cropped really thin one that I've shown you from Anthropology. Oh my gosh, I wear those every day, every day. They go over a bathing suit, they go over anything. I have walked in them, I have worn them everywhere. I've worn them with skirts. I wholeheartedly recommend those. And then I'm gonna show you some more. And another thing that Caroline does that is very similar to things that I like is she always does her outfit, has crazy, crazy hair, and she always adds a really cool pair of big shades. So I went through my sunglasses this morning and half of them you can't even still get, I hate that, but I came across these key sunglasses. I think they're called Batty Behavior. And I wanted you just to see how a simple outfit like this with some really over the top cool sunglasses and then your jewelry just switches up the whole look. I love it. These are really cool. Another pair I really like are these. These are the, I don't know if they make the pink ones anymore, but I know they make other colors. It's the Coco from Preve Revo. And neither one of these are expensive. And these, the good thing about these is they go in your hair, but just like your jewelry, something comfortable and some glasses and you're ready to go. Especially if you have a really cool pair of shoes, you know, I'm into like the fancy comfort shoes. I've been loving my Fendi's and my Chanel dad sandals and all of those shoes. Like today, I just have on my Javianas. It doesn't matter, you can throw any shoe on with it and just make it your own. That's the thing, is when you start off with something like this, you get to put what you want to with it and make it your own. So let's go into what I've got here. And I wanna make sure you can see everything. These jeans, you guys, it makes my heart skip a beat. These are so fabulous. They're not gonna be for everyone. These are very Caroline inspired. She listed a pair of Citizens of Humanity that were like 200 and some dollars, but I wasn't sure that I was going to like this design on me, this whole barrel leg. So I saw these on Free People, 
They're We the Free. They're fabulous. I forgot to take this off. I need to. Brooke said she thought it just stayed there, but I kept them on to show you. The Lucky You Mid-Rise Barrel. These are the 27. These are fabulous. They're fabulous. I love these so much. I cannot wait to play with these and use them for different styles. I think you could use these with, I just wore a tank top, but honestly, I did that mo so you could see the jeans. I think this would look good with your short blazers. Like if you've gotten any of those from Zara, the little tan one, any of those little cropped blazers, or the cropped button-up shirts, anything. These are just amazing, and they are very, very trendy in a way, but in that laid-back, free people way. I love them. I will list everything down below. Then, to go along with my sweatshirt obsession, this has always been one of my favorite things to wear. When I was in my 20s, that's when you wore the great big sweatshirt like this with your biker shorts and your thick socks. I remember loving the wigwam socks. They were like nylon and tennis shoes. And sometimes you would even wear two pair of socks and you had to have them stacked like that tall. You know, I waitressed and bartended and I had to wear black. And I remember even wearing the thick, you know, stack of socks with waitressing. And this is equally fabulous. It's a must have. I recommend it for everyone. If you did not do anything but just lounge around the house in either this outfit or some of these things, you are going to enjoy them. But I just love fixing things up like this. I love putting this with your sequin skirt, your ruffled skirt. Mix that really casual with really funky, and that's how you get interesting, fun, outfits. These I just wanted to show you. I ran in Gap the other day. They have these, I think they have gold ones and pink ones, and they are biker shorts that are sparkly. And I'm going back to get them. Ooh, I went that day to get them and I chickened out. I chickened out because even at this point, I thought, I don't know. I guess I was thinking about what somebody would think, which is usually not like me because I usually don't care, but I'm going back to get them. Anyway, I had the best day that day. I met two of my subscribers, one at Home Depot, and I loved that in both situations, I spoke to them first, not even knowing that they were subscribers. And I felt like, wow, that's such a connection. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it just made it even better. I did not have on makeup that day. It was just, it was a good day though. I got so much stuff done. And I went down to the plant outpost. It's way downtown. I went there twice that day. The first time they weren't open. And the second time I went back, I went to go get a Monstera. They have the Alba or Albo. And then they have the Monstera. It's something like Celestial. Oh, I can't remember. I'll put the names down here, but they're so expensive. They're still on my mind. I might still go get one of them, maybe one of the smaller ones, but I don't know what happened that day. I just got, I chickened out. Anyway, going back to Gap, I grabbed these shorts. These are thicker. They're sweat shorts. They are thicker up here than the ones I told you about from Victoria's Secret. Those are almost like shorts you could sleep in. I got these and I got a pink color and they were on sale 40% off that day. I got the small and they were $39.95, but of course they weren't that much when I got them. So if you would rather have a thicker short, just a good sweat short, I got these and I do like them. Okay, Lululemon. <laughs> You guys know I will change my mind, but honestly, I really didn't. I'll tell you why I went in there. Like I said, I had been walking in the rain, so I was wearing just my little jackets that I have here to keep warm, and they were not rain jackets. They were getting soaking wet. I was having to leave them outside. They didn't have a hood, you know, all the things. So I knew I wanted to get a nice little rain jacket to walk in. So that was already one thing in my mind, wanting me to go to Lululemon. And then when my friend Carrie told me about the color in lip gloss, she was actually showing me the fanny pack or the belt bag. We were talking about those and she showed me the new color in that. And I was like, oh my God, I love that color. So that is why I went to Lululemon that day. And when the girls started to help me, I said, just bring me everything in my size in this lip gloss color. I love it. It makes me happy. I'm going to wear it. So the first thing I got 
Let's start off with the shorts. And this might be something that is well known throughout the exercise community and the biker short community. And I know that there are lots of you that have worn Lululemon for a long time, but I know that there are some of you out there like me that just dabble in it every once in a while. I got these biker shorts in size six. I'm always between a four and a six. And then when she brought the leggings to me, these were only available in the four. So I had her, I said, well, just look at me. You think I can wear the four? And she said, yeah, I do. She said, because they're stretchy. So here's what I noticed. When I put the biker shorts on in six, gave me a little bit of camel toe. And it really was not flattering. You would think that the size up would be a safer bet but it wasn't. They didn't really look good on me. Matter of fact, in the footage, I'm probably, you'll see me kind of like trying to twist and turn as much as I can. I mean, we cannot help our anatomy, but it just doesn't look as good, let's face it. So that is what I realized. When I took these off, I was like, oh, they just don't look good on me. But when I put the size four on, none of that, none of it. So that is what I wanted to tell you. Go with your smaller size because it will look so much better in here because they fit more on your legs and your butt and everything else. They're not hugged up to every crease and crevice. So big point. I don't know if you knew that, but it was a big aha moment for me. Okay, now to the rain jacket. I'm not sure what this is called, but of course I will link it below. It does have the hood. Matter of fact, when the girl brought it to me, I said, that's a rain jacket? That's water resistant? It had it on the tag, water resistant. Well, I got to test it out yesterday. I set out of here, it wasn't raining. I don't think it had rained all day. I got all the way down, you know, good and far from home and it started raining. So I used the hood. I put my phone in the pocket and it zips up and it kept me dry and it's so thin. It's not like something to really keep you warm. You could easily layer with this, but I love it. It was perfect. It is the perfect rain jacket for me and my walking. Another thing is with it being so thin, it would be really easy for you to take off and then just tie around your waist. And then they had two different styles of the sports bra in the lip gloss color. I chose this one because she said it was very, very flattering. It is, it's very flattering, very pretty, very supportive. It does come with the cups in there. I took them out. It's very boobylicious, but you know, there comes a time <laughs> when you just can't be worried about covering up at every moment. So I didn't have any problem wearing it. So anyway, I love this. This is what I will say. Remember when I was saying I hated coming home and having to peel things like these off? That's exactly how I felt. I had worn these and the leggings and I had to peel them off and then get in the shower. Plus I had been rained on. So I just kind of consider these like those fancy bathing suits. Like if you're going to a Pilates class, a yoga class, something that it's fun to, you know, like get dressed up and look good. I wholeheartedly recommend things like these. If you are like me and you're just walking around your neighborhood and you want to look good, but you're not trying to look fancy, then I would stick with some of the other stuff that I'm going to show you. It's kind of like what you wear to the beach versus what you wear to the pool. Okay, let's get started with some anthropology. Look at this dress. It is gorgeous. This blue gets me every time. I love it. The kicker is it's a little bit too big for me. It hangs down really low underneath my arms. Let's see, it's a size small. So I think that if it's not too late, I'm gonna return this and maybe try the extra small and see if I can wear it because I love it. This is John's favorite color. You know I love a sleeve with a ruffle and I think this is just such a good go-to dress. This is a good dress to wear to a dinner, like over at a friend's, having people over for dinner, a little get together at your local club. I know a lot of you live in neighborhoods where you'll have like a clubhouse and things. So love this. It didn't work out for me, but I think it is gorgeous. Now this, 
dress. Oh my gosh, how sweet is this dress? This is for those of you that are more conservative than I am, but still want to look so feminine. And it's so sexy in just a different way. I love it. John loved this dress. I always love to get his opinion when it comes to something like this, but he absolutely loved it. What makes it are these raw edges and the cut of it, it is just gorgeous. I love the wood buttons, the length of it. It just really couldn't be any more perfect and it comes in several different colors. This would look so good for any occasion, like graduations, which I know we're about done with that. I would say bridal showers, wedding showers, church. Pilcrow is one of my favorite brands. That sweatshirt I was telling you about is Pilcrow. I love it. So this dress was really surprising. It has the birds on it. My mom loves birds and I just love it. I just think it's gorgeous. Imagine if if you matched it with one of those shades of lipstick, just beautiful. Okay, these, these look kind of Caroline-ish. Like put these big flowy pants on with anything and some cool shoes and some cool jewelry and your cool sunglasses and you're ready to go. What more can I say about these pants? I have the tags on them, but these are going nowhere. Matter of fact, my daughter Brooke loves these. Look at these, you guys. I mean, look at the fish. They are magnificent pants. They feel amazing. They'll go with any of your shoes, any of your tank tops, any of your shirts, wear it with just a bikini top, just beautiful. I mean, I'm so excited that I'm finally showing you these things because I love them. Look at the just colors in that, gorgeous. Another. <laughs> I can't get enough. I can't get enough of these skirts. I blame it on Alyssa Beltempo with that daggone skirt she has. I was so into her videos for so long. I've watched, I think, every one of them. She's into vintage and sustainable style, which is, you know, a little bit different than I do. But what I love is how she puts outfits together because it's more creative and that's what I love. And she has a skirt that's ruffled. I ended up getting this one after I got the last one. I believe the last one was pink and I'll put it in here. Love it, wore it with a sweatshirt, love it. It's not going anywhere. It's gonna look so good with a moto jacket. It's gonna look good with a sweatshirt, a tank top, a button up shirt tied at the waist. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And you guys, I hope you can hear me. I get so caught up hugging everything. Just beautiful. These are the pants that I did not think looked good on me. I love the pants. I love the concept. I think it was me and my body. They didn't fit well. You'll see how they don't hit my true waist. I just did not feel like they looked good on me. I didn't feel good in them, but I love them. And I do love pants like this. I love the way they show off your shoes. Again, there's something about a printed pant that is daring in a little bit of a way. You can get so creative with it, but not be obnoxious or over the top, but it just sets you apart. Printed pants are just one of those things, like if you're wanting one thing to give your outfit style, you can wear a pair of printed pants with a white shirt and you're gonna be loving it. Okay, here's my sweatshirt addiction in full force. It's not incredibly thin, it's not cut up or anything, but there was just something about it that I loved, the whole color combination. I will say I've always been partial to gray, white, and black sweatshirts. When I get a colored one, I just don't wear it as much, of course, but I just love the way gray sweatshirts look, particularly. That's usually the first color I'll get, and then if I love a sweatshirt, I'll go back and get another color, but this this one, I love this one. Every time Brooke sees it, she wants it. And I told her yesterday, I said, well, when I get through with it, I'll save it for you, but I want to wear it a few times. But I love it, love it. Do anything you want with this sweatshirt. Wear it with a sequin skirt. Wear it with your biker shorts. Wear it with your jeans wear it to bed, do anything, but there's just something cool about it that I really, really liked. The whole co color combination, it's so good. And then this was something kind of out of the box for me, and you'll have to let me know what you think. This is a 50-50 return. It's almost like I liked it better on the model than I did me, but maybe I just didn't wear it right. But it's this cool, like, I mean, it looks like a dress, but yet it's 
done like this. It slits all the way up, so you have to wear pants with it. It's neat. Like in theory, I really like this. I didn't like it with what I put it on with, and it didn't thrill me. So let me know what you think about this and if you have any other ideas. Like right off the bat, if you have a long, beautiful set of legs, this with a pair of cut off jean shorts, I think would look amazing. So let me know what you think, but it's really pretty. It has the covered buttons. The brand is Sunday in Brooklyn and it's a size small. So a really cool piece though. Another thing I wanted to update you on with walking is last week when I was telling you about, you know, getting rid of all the obstacles that were keeping me from walking, one thing that I left out, I could not believe it, one of the best things I've done is get YouTube Premium. I don't know why I've never done that as much as I watch YouTube. So we could get the family pack for $22 a month or the individual for 11. So John just went ahead and got the family pack. And so now when I walk, I don't have to skip the ads. And you know how used to, or like used to, when I got in the shower, I couldn't play a video because some long ad would come on and it would ruin it. So I can't believe I didn't tell you last week. I wanted to tell you this week because that has made walking even better better. I love it. I hope that you're enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed today's haul and I will see you really soon this week. Bye-bye.